For full episodes of the Diverse Mentality Podcast, check the links in the description below. The full video version is available on the main channel, and the audio version is available on your favorite streaming platforms such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. There's a lot to unfold there. I'm not going to go over the whole fucking thing. There's too much shit. This whole history of this whole group, way too much. Very unfortunate situation. This is a rap group that could have easily been one of the best rap groups of all time. Now, what happens to rap groups, man? They all dismantle. They never reach their full potential. True. There isn't a single rap group that I can think of besides Migos, which there's only three people there, which is a little easier to maintain. But a rap group of more than three people that has stayed together and reached their peak. Can you think of one? Yeah, no, it really isn't. I can't think I of a yeah. single one right now off the top of my head. Who? Like a legit rap group. Not like Rough Riders where they were a group, but they never really released albums together. They weren't really renounced as a group. Rockefeller, they didn't really release albums together that I remember. Like an actual rap group like G-Unit, NWA, mm -hmm. uh, Migos, who else? Slaughterhouse. Ah, uh, fuck, I can't think of off the top of my head. There's been more rap yeah. groups out there. There's probably more rap groups. I just can't even think of off the top of my head. Dipset. Dipset. They didn't last. Um, trying to think. of. Yeah, I can't think off the top of my head a lot of these groups. Those are the ones that always come to my mind as the big ones. But did they yeah. ever reach their peak? No, none of them did. No, no. no. G-Unit didn't even have all five members on their album ever. Uh, NWA mm -hmm. didn't have everybody. They had, I think, one album that was everybody not even that. That that was even having issues. They never had their peak either. And during that, yeah, during the album, they were having a lot of issues. So nobody reached straight out of Compton. Didn't even have what was that guy's name? Fuck, am I forgetting? I remember doing the research on this, and one of the guys that was writing didn't want to be there. I think it was DJ Yellow or Arabian Prince, one of those guys. Yeah, it was. And then yeah, the DOC you got into a car accident, and never got to. So there was just so much. No rap group ever reach their peak in hip-hop too much money too much egos i say that to say this slaughterhouse to me at least lyrically one million percent would have been the biggest rap group bar for bar that would slaughter literally slaughter that's why they're called slaughter they would slaughter the shit out of any any rapper bar for bar mob, mob d was a crew right yeah it's two people yeah, that was two. People. i was kind of counting more, more, more than three because yeah. two it's easier it's easier to deal with Eagles two people. were three it's easier to deal with two people. It's easier to deal with a little three. Three's a little easier. But then four and five, you're getting into like four different people the way they think. Yeah, four yeah. different money problems. Four different, you know, it's harder to, you know. Um, so at least four. At least four. Four. I think. A lot of groups. Were, you know, no, 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 no group with more than three people yeah. ever last, which is unfortunate. So what's going on with Slaughterhouse? What, what What's what's the news here? Um, you got... You got Joel Ortiz, and you got King Crooked, Crooked, formerly known as Crooked Eye, because I always get used to saying Crooked Eye, but Crooked, you got Joel Ortiz. They drop an album together and call it The Rise and Fall of Slaughterhouse. They use a Slaughterhouse logo, and the logo is the pig being essentially burned, essentially saying that this group is done, it's finished, this is the last piece of work you're going to get. And it's really just them two, and they're speaking on the whole situation and what happened with their label, what happened with the group amongst all four members. And honestly, the music's fire. I was listening to, I was listening to and watching the video of Vacancy. I really enjoyed that record. I was listening to, I think it was, it was either Look Mama, Sorry, one of those last records. I haven't listened to the full project yet, but I enjoyed, you can tell they're still on their shit. Bar for Bar, Crooked, and Joel, fire. So, the logo, is it clickbaity? Yes, it is. It's a clickbait type of thing. Slaughterhouse fans are going to see a logo. Some people are going to assume it's all four of them back together. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's only them. It's only half the crew. Um, so, where do the problems come in? Joe Budden and Royce the Five Nine feel like, hey, they shouldn't have released this without all of us getting together. You can't call this a Slaughterhouse album. You can't use the logo without all of us being involved. I get that point of view. I 100% get that point of view. And he's uh, right for that. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm going to talk about why he's wrong, too. So, so okay. Royce the 5 nine goes on Instagram, posts the logo of the burning uh, the burning pig, you know, the logo that they're using now. He said, you have 25% ownership slash equity in a building. Let's say an apartment building. You build this building with your three partners brick by brick. It's worth millions. 
Suddenly, the value drops because it needs renovations, etc. You and your partners have been talking about when and how this work is going to get done. Y'all just need to agree on a plan of attack, meaning we all need to agree on a label situation, all that stuff, paperwork. Meanwhile, you and just one other of your partners receive an offer to build another building together, but with just two of you, minus the two other partners. Yes, there's a check involved, but just one catch. You have to burn down the building you already have without informing your other two partners in order to do so. Would you do it? Don't think so, me either. Now, I... <laughs> Basically, I the way I view it, this boils down to Joe Budden. Joe Budden does not want to rap. Joe Budden is retired. Joe Budden doesn't like the bills business of this. Joe Budden only sees it from Joe Budden's point of view. That's all he gives a shit about. Everybody agrees. I think if you look at the comments of Joe Budden addressing this, if you look at it, Joe Budden started the problems with a lot of his business partners. Everything business wise has gone bad when it relates to Joe Budden. And but he admits it that. It is him sometimes. He said in the interview, I don't know. He, he seems like he's playing the victim. He went live and admitted. He's like, am I the problem? He is. The problem. I am the problem. Yeah. But he doesn't. He still plays the victim. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, man, oh, it's, you know, they're doing this to me, though. At the end of the day. It's like, no, bro. It's it's you. I think the <laughs> fans, the fans, the fans are happy that Joel and uh, Joel and Crooked gave fans closure of this whole situation and closed this whole chapter out. That's what fans are happy. Fans only want music, man. They just want to support yeah, you. Yeah. That's all right they on. give a shit. They don't care about the business part. You guys can figure that out. You guys are four grown men. Joel said they're cool with the business. Basically, uh, Ju- Crooked mm-hmm. knows a business partner that he's been working with. He got him to support the album. Right. Called um, Joel. He un- immediately agreed. So Joel and Crooked were on it. Yep. Aboard. He calls Royce. Royce says, I'll only do it if Joe Budden joins in. Right. And that's when... The problem started. Yeah, so <laughs> now Joe Budden was supposed to call Crooked and say, hey, you know, let's figure this out. Yeah. He never did that. Never even replied to him, never called him, never did anything. This that's is what sep- pissed him off, too. Yeah, this is in September of 2021. So this is about six, seven months ago, Yeah, you could say. Um, so, yeah, Joe Budden never calls him back. Crooked's like, what's going on? And, by the way, Joe Budden wouldn't talk to Crooked or... Yeah. Or uh, Joel at all. Only you would only five. talk to Royce to 5'9". That's it. So now you have a situation where you can't even communicate with the guy. Mm-hmm. So Crooked's like, okay, we'll do whatever Joe Budden wants, percentage-wise, business-wise. So they're given every, like, hey, what do you want in terms of the deal? Doesn't respond. No, nope, nope, I'm retired. I don't want to even deal with this. So it's like, what, what can you do at that point? You give right. him, what do you want? What do you want percentages of businesses? I'll give you your percentage. He's like, I don't give a shit about that. He's like, that's not why I'm doing this. They're basically doing it for the fans. Giving fans what they wanted all these years. By the way, there hasn't been a new Slaughterhouse album project in 10 years. The last album that came out was 2012 under Shady Records with Eminem. 2012. We're 10 years down the line. Fans haven't gotten a new album at all. The Glass House album, there's songs recorded on it. They even previewed it on the episodes that they did, the episodes that they did. They previewed some of the music from there. Nothing got released. I get it, man. As a G unit, like as a G unit fan, right. this shit was happening to me. I would be pissed at whoever was causing the problems. Of course. I'm pissed at the game still for forever, whatever he did. Yeah. You know, so I S- get it. S- still in my head in the corner right here. <laughs> just like, fuck you, man. Yeah. Fuck. I get it. Yeah. That to me is the most frustrating shit. You know, and fans deserve, man. Fans, they're the ones, we're the ones that are buying shit, supporting. You guys are. Yeah. Joe Budden's point of view is like, hey, I don't need this music thing anymore. I got the podcast popping. Fuck this. I'm good. Mm-hmm. Now, would you would you release something knowing that half of the people weren't involved? <sighs> no, if the fans uh, fans want a closure, though. I don't know, man. It's, that's a tough call. It's like this podcast, right? We got two other people involved. Yeah. And then I go with somebody else, and we leave. And then you and... Let's say to Feely, for example. Yeah, yeah. You guys are here, and the fans are like, "Hey, man, what's going on with the podcast? We want closure on this." And you guys don't even ask, or you guys try to reach out to us. I say I'm retired. I don't want to do this shit anymore. I'm the one being the hard head. The other guys like, "Hey, we'll figure to see if they want to do it." But you guys just move on with it, and you guys do it. Yeah. Would you do that at all, or would you just be like, no "I mean, I, I probably at some point, man, yeah." Yeah, that's the thing. It's, I think yeah. it, 
how long like, it takes. Like how much longer do I got to wait for yeah. you guys? Let's yeah. get this solved, man. I'm trying to release music. Yeah. I got money to make. I got fans to give feed music. Yeah. You know, you don't want to do it. You're like, fuck, I don't want to. I'm just done with music. Tafili's like, whatever. Yeah. You know, and then I'm like, just left here. I'm just trying to put out music and record, you know, what the fuck. Or record podcasts. Yeah. So, yeah, man, it's a tough situation. I mean, it's like, because you're stuck, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's just one person that's causing the yeah. issues Joe Budden. <laughs> that's really what it is. Royce doesn't want to do it without Joe Budden, which I understand, too. You know, three people out of the four doing it just doesn't make any sense. It's like, okay, you're missing one member. My my whole point in this, man, is stop being hard-headed. Give fans what they want, man. One album, you guys would have been done. Last hurrah. Mm-hmm. Call it the last album, Glass House, if you guys want to still name it that. One last hurrah, that's it. At least give fans closure. The good right. part about Joel and Crooked, they gave the fans closure. That's yeah. the thing. Fans need closure in a lot of situations because it's like, hey, let's get a proper exit. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. I, you know, I I don't, I don't, I get what they did. I think using the name The Rise and Fall of Slaughterhouse is... I get it why they use that. It, mm-hmm. it attracts more attention. It makes people want to listen to it more and be like, okay, what's going on here? And they did explain what happened and throughout the songs. They kind of explain the situation. Like, hey, you know, contractual things. We did this. We tried this. Right. Um, yeah, I get I get in the interview. I, I, in the live Instagram live of Joe saying, Joe didn't say suck my dick to, um, was it Joel Ortiz was on the yeah. live? Or was it, or, it was yeah. Joel Ortiz, yeah, yeah he was yeah. on the live. He didn't say suck my dick to Joel Ortiz. He said, that album can suck my dick. That's what he said. So people got that misconstrued. If you say it to an album, that's different. If you say yeah. it to the person, that's why he got mad. He's like, man, you telling me to... Bu- bu- bu-? Nah, mm-hmm. he didn't say it. He said the album. Man, that album could suck my... You know. And then he got mad. He's like, you telling me that? Blah, blah, blah. That wasn't the case. It was Joe Biden. At first, I thought that too. Yeah, it was the album. Yeah. He's like that. I guess he should have cleared it more. Yeah. Because he was like, yeah, that album could suck my... So, um, I don't know, man. Uh, I get I get where both parties are coming from. I think Joe Biden just being hard-headed... And he has a podcast popping. He doesn't give a shit, you know. And he's like, and then the whole, in the whole like explanation on his podcast, he's like, he's basically playing the victim. He's like, man, these guys are antagonizing me and doing all these things, and you know, I'm playing. You know, I'm always the one getting attacked. And I mean, you're the one that's causing the. Based off of what I've what I've looked into, you're the one that's causing the problem. You know, so yeah. you should get most of the blame and attack. Um, Leave out that shit, man. Just fucking give him. I don't know. It's tough. Or just release the old music, the Glass House that you guys recorded. Yeah. Put it on the album. All agree to a certain percentage. 25, 25, 25, whatever. Yeah. Drop it. Done. Be like, this is fans. Write a message on Instagram. This is the only thing that we have all together. We're going to release this for you guys, and we're done. Yeah. And then if Joe Budden doesn't want any part of it, then just get out of it. Like, whatever the contract fixes. Yeah, you can't can't do the group without... Yeah, so it's but done. But you can't, you know, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, even yeah. with G-Unit, it was just Banks, Yayo, 50. No, that's the that's original yeah. G-Unit, honestly. It is. Buck but, was never supposed to be there. But when it was Buck, it was better, you know? Yeah. It was just, it was but, better. Yeah. You got to admit it. Yeah. You know? And then when when Game left, I was like, fuck, it is what it is. It's game. Still, it's still nice. How many records the Game you know? 50? It was still before? great. But when when Buck left, too, then it was just like getting, ah. Well, yeah. You know, it's like. One, another group that. Is very slept on. I know this is gonna this is gonna really people are gonna be like, what the fuck? Funk volume mm. with Hobson, Izzy Wright, Jaron Benton, uh, Swizz. We stopped just completely recording in general. Damn, I forgot all and about DJ. It. Yeah, they Shit. fell out as a group, and I think they were. You starting liked to, them a lot. Yeah, I think they're yeah. starting to build up, and then they just fell out. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. come on, man, Damn. like you guys yeah, always. They, they were on a roll. Yeah, they were know, dropping. It was just like shit. getting in and then just, poof. yeah, it just like, and it's always business. It's something with business. Somebody's taking money. Something's no, just happening. People getting too greedy with shit, man. Yeah, that's all it is. It's man. Just like, bro, just. That's why I like the interview with Dirk, man. He's like, you just gotta. What do he say, man? He was like. If you're the big dog making the most money and all that, you just gotta support that, man. It just it is what it is, like you know. Yeah, I mean, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I you, mean, you, you can't you, control you, who's the star. Yeah, you can't situation. control who's the star. Like, you're the star. Like, I can't now, like, you know, be mad at you. Or, no, like, my, start. My, like, yeah, my. Why is Quake making? Blah, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know my, it just, it is what it is. I think when, yeah, yeah whenever, whoever blows up, blows up. Let's just say yeah. you, you start, you know, they love your personality. You start just skyrocketing. Yeah, I everybody can't, know. 
you know, I can't control what, you know, <laughs> yeah, it happens. Know. So that's my point is I think is everybody, as long as everybody's getting money, you can't obviously make more than the guy that's the number one person. That just yeah, that, that you never have happens. To that. Like Drake, Drake can't. makes, look at Drake's team. Drake's the fucking making billions, whatever the fuck. His team, though, is eating, too. Don't That's what get I'm it wrong. saying. Like, everybody in his team is probably making a minimum a million dollars. Yeah. A minimum. What the fuck is the problem with what that? Is, yeah, Game, game, even, said it, game even said it on the, on, the, on the Drink Champs. He said G-Unit was making 50. He was making, like, a million a show. Yeah. And then we were getting, like, at least 100,000 each or whatever it was. 50, yeah, 50,000. Yeah, something. like. But you have to accept that. Bro, 50,000 a show. Lil Dirk. Yeah. Who was the number one top guy at one point was getting 50000 a show. These guys weren't even known like that, and they were getting 50000 a yeah, show. Yeah, like, wh- how can you be mad at that, bro? Bro, fifty grand a show? And imagine if I'm getting paid, you're making a million dollars, and you're paying me fifty grand. It's just greed, bro. It's that, greed. That's, what I'm, that's the problem. Yeah, that's, it's yeah. just people are too greedy. <laughs> yeah. And I, I you and know, that's, yeah. oh. you know, and you can't be that way, man, because you're going to screw yourself throughout your whole life. You're just going to have problems and be greedy yeah. and never have relationships with people and, you know, 